Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena and we're going to run a few tests to determine which quad-core processor from the ones currently in phones on the market is better. We have the Galaxy S3 with the Exynos 4412. We have the Huawei Ascend D Quad XL with its K3 V2 homebrew processor. We have the LG Optimus G with a Snapdragon S4 Pro and the LG Optimus 4X HD with a Tegra 3 processor. Let's see who does best on Quadrant first. The Optimus G finished first. Tegra, Huawei and the Galaxy S3. Now the results, we have the winner here the LG Optimus G with the whopping 7,299 points on Quadrant. Then we have the runner-up Galaxy S3 with 5,315 points. Next is the LG Optimus 4X HD with 4,821. And last is the Huawei SND Quad Excel with 4,413 for its uh, Quad core processor that's on quadrant. Up next, we are running Antutu to see which one of the quad core chipsets currently on the market fares best. We excluded the quad core Exynos 4412 on the Galaxy Note 2, as well as the quad core Tegra 3 Plus on the HC1 X Plus because they're simply overclocked versions of the respective processors, the Exynos 4412 and the Tegra 3. And we wanted to see how the stock versions perform. All right, all the results are in from Antutu. We have the winner Samsung Galaxy S3 with 12,194 points. Next one is the LG, is the LG Optimus 4X HD with 11,336 followed by the LG Optimus G with 10,896 and last but not by much is the Huawei SND Quad Excel with 10,716. So winner here is the Samsung Galaxy S3. This next test is with the GL Benchmark 2.5 software. This is a strictly graphics performance benchmark test to test who has the best GPU. All right, we have all the results in and first place as expected is taken by the Adreno 320 graphics processor on the LG Optimus G. This is 28 frames per second on Egypt HD and the off-screen test shows 20 frames per second. Next is the Huawei Ascent D Quad XL. Huawei claim that uh, its graphics processor is one of the best out there and here it's proved somewhat true the Egypt HD on-screen test shows 21 frames per second and the off-screen one shows 14 frames per second. Afterwards we have the Samsung Galaxy S3 with the Armali 400 GPU that's on-screen Egypt HD 15 frames per second and 15 on the off-screen as well. We also get the results from the Tegra 3, as expected. It has the weakest graphics processor, 12 frames per second on-screen Egypt HD and off-screen we have 8 frames per second, 8.4. All right, next one is the new version of the Velamo test. This is a comprehensive aggregate test, CPU, GPU, IO, write, read, etc. It is somewhat uh, tailored to Qualcomm's processors since they're using this test for improving their processors. It also favors the instruction set of the Exynos processor. So don't be surprised if the Tegra 3 and the Huawei Homebrew processor do worse here. All right, we got the final score from Velamo. It's as expected 571, the best one from the LG Optimus G. Then we have the Exynos 4412 runner up with 559. Then we have the Huawei SND Quad XL 408 and the LG Optimus 4X HD with 406. Bear in mind that this test uh, is done to 
improve Snapdragon processors. So explicably these instruction sets favor Qualcomm Snapdragon processors, but they work well with Exynos instruction set as well. That's why probably we got the two best results here with the Exynos processor and the Snapdragon one. And the last test we wanted to run is for browser performance. This one here measures the HTML5, JavaScript and so on performance, which is so important in today's mobile browsers. So let's see what the result will be. All right, we got the final results from the browser benchmark performance comparison, which measures JavaScript performance, HTML5 and uh, WebGL even. We've got first place the LG Optimus G with 1526 points and then we have the Huawei Ascent the Quad XL with 1486 followed by the Samsung Galaxy S3 with 1480 and last is the LG Optimus 4X HD with 1422. As you can see not no huge differences, all the browsers perform very well with uh, an advantage given to the LG Optimus G, just like in most other tests, especially in the graphics benchmarks. This was a video benchmark comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Huawei Ascend D Quad XL, the LG Optimus G and the LG Optimus 4X HD from Phone Arena. We compared the current quad-core chipsets on the market and concluded that uh, LG Optimus G beats them all most of the times, especially in the graphics performance area. And we're especially surprised to see the Huawei Ascent D Quad XL with the homemade Huawei processor perform on par with the Exynos 4412 and the Tegu 3 in the Optimus 4X HD. Thanks for watching.